Hi, I'm Beelers, and this is the first of my quick start guides to using Microsoft's OneNote. The idea is a quick start guide, so I'll be whizzing through a few of the features just to give you uh, an understanding of, of what you can do with OneNote. The idea being is that you're new to the, new to the system, particularly if you say you're moving over to something like Evernote, and that you'll get a good quick overview of how you can use it and how you can insert it into your own workflows. So what we have here is uh, Windows 10, and this is the free version of OneNote 2016, the desktop version. Now, it's important to point out that by default, when you install Windows 10, there's a different version of OneNote installed, and that's the, um, the app version that you can get from Windows Store. It is completely different to the desktop version, which is also free. Um, the app version is, um, is optimized for use on a, a tablet device. Um, and it, it, there's some integration, for instance, with the Surface Book or the Surface Pro Pen. Um, you want to install 2000 with the free version of 2016 immediately uh, to get the full features. And I'll be using the 2016 desktop version um, as we do this demo. So they actually make it relatively hard for some reason for you to install the desktop version. It isn't obvious, so I'm gonna, actually going to show you that. So we're on OneNote.com here. And about halfway down the page, two thirds down the page, you'll see that you've got Windows Desktop. So you click on that. It now tells you you've already got OneNote installed on your machine, uh, which you may which you may not if you've just um, installed Windows 10 from from scratch. You actually want that puppy there, and as you'll see, that's a download link to um, a Windows binary. That's the one you want to be installing. That's the one that I'm going to be showing you from now on. So here we go. We've got um, we've got 2016 uh, with nothing open, so I'm going to immediately get, go and open a notebook. You'll see I'm already logged in here, and I'm going to open one of the notebooks on my OneDrive. It's important to note that the that you want to always be using OneDrive when you're creating notebooks or when you're um, opening notebooks. That way, you get the full features of OneNote's synchronization capabilities. Um, there's a lot of clever stuff that's done under the hood. So, for example, if you were tempted to browse to say to your Dropbox folder and to create a um, to create a new OneNote document locally or within, say, one of your CloudSync uh, services like Google Drive or Dropbox, um, yes, it'll work. Uh, and that's great if you just want to keep it locally on your machine and absolutely not share it with anyone else. But you won't be able to use synchronization with your iOS device. That's the iPod or the, your iPhone. You won't be able to use it with synchronizing with, with your Android device. And as I, re as I say, I'll repeat because it's worth, worth repeating. You will get none of the synchronization features. Um, there's a lot of clever stuff that's done under the hood. Uh, if you do synchronize with something like Dropbox, particularly if you're using it with other people, uh, you can do it. It's a bit clunky, but you will definitely run into um, conflicts at some point. So let's get, um, let's open a new, um, an existing notebook. So what it's doing here is looking at all, all the notebooks that are on my OneDrive. And we're going to, uh, and you can see that all these ones are closed. Uh, the other important thing to note is that um, by default, it doesn't open all of your notebooks. So that might not be intuitive to you but if you think about it you may not want all of your notebooks open on all of your devices so um, particularly say for example if you're on your phone you don't want some of your heavier notebooks like maybe with scanned receipts and things like that in um, so anyway on this device here we're just going to open the quick st quick start um, notebook which uh, I prepared earlier um, and um, as you can see quite quickly that's loaded up so the first thing to point out really is, is, is kind of the UI, the user interface in terms of what you've got. So down on the left-hand side here, you've got um, all the notebooks that are open at the moment. And then the, you've, got, you've got your section tabs and you have section groups, which can also have subsections within them. And you have pages within your sections. OneNote works very much on the, on the basis of this hierarchy. Now, if you're coming from Evernote, again, you're gonna be used to using tags um, you can use tags, tags are, but tags work differently in OneNote, and we'll go through those in a moment. But you can replicate very complicated 
um, sort of filing systems using the notebook section and page um, method. Of, it, it's very powerful and um, you will get a lot of um, service from it. So um, what I would suggest you think of is that you think of OneNote as um, a wiki, a wiki that you can where you can write anywhere. So, for example, um, here we have a, a, a hypothetical project for make it, writing a book. Um, and let's say I want to start writing a brief. Uh, I could actually, I can actually create new pages just by simply using this keyboard shortcut. Um, and you'll see at the moment I've got a dotted line link to a new page over here that's a right, called Write Brief. So this is the brief for my book cover. So first thing I'll do, I want it to be pink. And you'll now see as we go back to our book pay, table of contents page, this link has now come through um, over here. You could also, um, you can also copy links to pages and simply paste them either directly or you can you can actually paste them direct you can over different text uh, and very quickly you can build the complicated hierarchies and table of contact pages and links to different parts of the of, of and in also in different notebooks um, so what I'd like to do now maybe is quickly show you a bit of tagging. So I'm just going to hide this to get myself a bit more space. Here I've got um, what I'm is using to do tags. Now there's a bunch of preset tags defined when you install OneNote. You are able then here to, to customize tags. Now you can do that and fight, feel free to do that, but I would urge, urge you a certain amount of caution for a couple of reasons. Custom tags are not supported by any form of synchronization. Custom tags are not supported by different versions, uh, between versions even. Uh, so if you have, um, say, a work and a home machine, custom tags are not synchronized between them. Um, you would have to manually add them each time um, between the two devices. Um, on the Apple Mac, the OS X version, um, their custom tags are not supported at the moment. Uh, I'd be very surprised if they ever are. Um, also on the iOS and Android devices, um, to custom tags are not supported. Uh, and then um, the API, which allows developers to create new content, also doesn't support any form of custom tags. So you might want to consider using using these tags um, as, as they come out of the box. But obviously your mileage may vary. Now, the, the idea with tags is that you can tag individual pieces of content. Now, at the moment, all I've got here is um, to-do tags, and you can see if I mouse over, you get to-do, but you can also tag um, with multiple tags, and you can also tag titles. That's not in the title there you go. So I made that now a question. Um, there's a powerful fu search fu function for tags, uh, and at the moment, you can see here I've got a, um, I've got a summary and you can even ask um, OneNote to create you a summary page. Um, I don't use this feature at all because actually then the search, uh, you, you get two of each. But, um, but some, I know a lot of people use, it, use the, tag, the summary pages a lot in their workflow. Um, you're going to be, you, if you're coming from Evernote, you're going to be used to um, a really good search system. Uh, well, I can... I'm pleased to announce that searching is just as good on um, on uh, OneNote as well. So you can see here. Um, so I've got my projects. I've got book. Now at the moment we might come back to this because this is brand new open. This this book phrase here is not being picked up in the search. It will be. It just takes a little bit longer to index the word. Um, the hand, handwriting that is, which I did earlier on my Surface Pro, but you can see what, what's happened here is you've got the title highlighted, uh, there's also another title, and then also within this page here, the word book, and this page here, the word book is mentioned. 
Um, what you can also then do is you can pin the search um, and you get lots of features to be able, for instance, to be able to order and everything else. So quickly, I will go through a couple of um, other sort of advanced features. For a start, you've got um, the ability to um, embed different types of content. Now, th th as I mentioned, this is the free version of OneNote. Um, the, the, the version you get with Office 365, or if you buy a downloadable license, um, is, a pr is pretty much identical, except for there's a few extra um, integrations between different versions of Office. So for instance, within the menu here, you'll have the ability to embed an, an Excel spread directly embed an Excel spreadsheet um, and um, there are some abilities for instance to be able to send to Outlook pages to Outlook and that sort of thing um, you be as you'd expect you're able to embed pictures and, and and videos if you paste a YouTube link in that will um, show you an embedded preview a very fantastic feature here is being able to record audio so if you've got your laptop open in a meeting you can press record start typing away uh, and the awesome feature is the um, the recording is indexed by where you're typing. So literally you mouse over a bit of text you've just typed, there's a play button and it takes the recording to that part of the page. Uh, sorry, to that part of the recording. Um, I mentioned earlier that you're able to share uh, notebooks with each other, with different people. It's very, um, it's very powerful. And as I said, a bit like how Google Docs works where you can, mul multiple people can edit at the same time. Uh, it's near real-time synchronization and again that only works if you're if you're on OneDrive and um, it's able to come just send down the up updates in, in near real time you'll notice here you can see that um, I modified this page I had to modif modify this on my uh, on my desktop machine this is um, so it's showing the author you can actually hide authors here you can see that's now gone what uh, one nice little feature if I just get the notebook popping back up again if um, I mark this page as unread you will now see that the quick start has gone bold, that this page has gone bold, and this section up here has gone bold. So that would indicate to you that somebody has um, edited something within this notebook, this section, or this page, which is quite handy to know if you've got a shared notebook with maybe multiple people. A um, couple of quick final things I'd want to show you. Uh, the, the quick notes are um, pretty amazing. So just win N at any time opens up um, a note you can then you can set a setting for for the note to become docked to the side of the page and then for instance if I have the cursor here and then I start typing over here let's say um, this is nice you can see that there's this this links come up that's now linking me to the, the page so let's push this page move over to this peer and I'm back in my note you can still see that there's this link uh, and it now links this page, this is controlled, this to move. So you can imagine if you're say annotating a document, you could um, you could be you could be linking between the two and having you know, multiple windows open, making notes, that sort of thing. Finally, uh, screen clipping is pretty amazing with OneNote. Again, you can, um, so I, let's just um, go back, so we've got something colorful. And uh, you just type uh, Windows Shift and S. And you'll see now it's asking me where I want to put, where I want any um, screen clippings to go. So I'm just for now going to um, tell it to always send it to my, um, send it to my quick note section. And then if we go back to OneNote, and we go to quick notes we go here you can see that there's there there's a screenshot which you can then save if you want to as a png let's see again if i think it's because this is a virtual machine it's been a bit slow but now there you go so already the text within that image has been indexed um, and is now coming up with a search so that um ends my first quick start guide for OneNote. I've blasted through this quickly on purpose. You can find out more for, on my blog at beelers.com slash OneNote. If you want to get in touch, I'm at Beelers on Twitter. You can also email beelers at sifware.com. Thanks very much for watching.